Hi everybody, let's take a closer look at the song Verliere from Clueso. Du strengst dich an, nimmst es mit mir auf und lädst mich ein. You are straining yourself, you take it up with me and you invite me. I like this line because it shows you one regular verb and two irregular verbs in the same form. Du strengst dich an means you are straining yourself. Nothing strange happens with this verb in the do form. You simply drop the en at the end of the stem, anstrengen, and add st. You move the separable prefix to the end of the clause. The verb nehmen is irregular and so it takes an i in the do form. Also it's a little bit more weird because it also adds an m instead of the h. The verb einladen takes an umlaut in the do form. It also ignores the rule that says that if you have a d at the end of the stem you need to add an e. For this reason the do form ends up just being du lädst. And of course again the ein goes at the end of the clause because of the separable prefix rule. Ich nehme alles mit und mach einen drauf, um drauf zu sein. I take everything in and go on a binge in order to feel better. Here we have the ich form of the verb nehmen to prove that it's an irregular verb and it takes a stem change but only in the previous line where it used du. Don't forget that I mentioned in the video for Gewinne that he also takes the e at the end of the noun off a lot just to make it so that it fits with the syllable scheme. That's the reason that he says nehm instead of nehme and mach instead of mache. Kann sein, ich lenk mich ab, doch weiß ich ins Geheim, ich bin wirklich gern bei dir, aber auch allein. It could be that I am distracting myself, but in secret, I also know that I like being with you, but also I'm alone. Here we have a few more irregular verbs, but these irregular verbs are also irregular in the ich form in addition to the du and er sie es form. Kann is both the du and the er sie es form of the verb können. Ablenken is a regular verb that means to distract. But he says lenk instead of lenke for the same reason that he dropped the e before. Weiss is not only the word for the color white, but it's also the word for ich and er sie es forms of the verb wissen, which means to know. The last part even shows us that the ich form of sein is again bin. The second verse shows us the reverse of what the previous one did. Here he's the one straining himself, and she is the one taking it all and going on a binge. In fact, the entire first two lines are exactly the same except that what happens in the du form is now in the ich form and vice versa. The first part of the third line also follows this pattern of switching from ich to du, but it keeps the last part of it the same as it was in the previous verse. Ich streng mich an, nehm es mit dir auf und lad dich ein. Du nimmst alles mit und machst einen drauf, um drauf zu sein. Kann sein, du lenkst dich ab, doch weiß ich ins Geheim. Ich bin wirklich gern bei dir, aber auch allein. I strain myself, I take it up with you and invite you. You take it all in and go on a binge in order to feel better. It could be that you're distracting yourself, but in secret I know that I like being with you, but I'm also alone. The third and fourth verses do the exact same thing that the first and second did. The first one starts with the ich version of the story and ends with the wir form. The second one starts with the du form and ends with the wir form again. The ich forms that we are given here are weiß, which is a form of wissen, to know, rede ein, form of einreden, to convince, fange an, anfangen, to start, wechsle, wechseln, to change and spanne ein, einspannen is to harness, which is used with animals. We also get here wird, which is the er sie es form of the verb werden, which means will, in the future tense. Ich weiß es wird passieren, rede mir ein, kann doch nicht sein. I know it will happen, I'll convince myself that it can't be. Fang an zu provozieren, wechsle die Seite, spann dich ein. I'll start provoking, change the sides and tie you down. Vermutlich werden wir es bereuen, uns nicht mehr sicher sein. Presumably we will regret that we were not more sure of ourselves. Doch wir müssen was unternehmen, weil es sonst so bleibt. But we have to do something, otherwise it will stay like this. Du weißt es wird passieren. Redest dir ein, kann doch nicht sein. You know that it will happen, you will convince yourself that it can't be. Fängst an zu provozieren, wechselst die Seite, spannst mich ein. You'll start provoking, change the sides and tie me down. Vermutlich werden wir uns bereuen, uns nicht mehr sicher sein. Presumably we will regret that we were not more sure of ourselves. Doch wir müssen was unternehmen, weil es sonst so bleibt. But we have to do this or it will stay like this. The point that I'm trying to get across in this video is that this song teaches you several irregular verbs by showing you the ich and the du forms of each one. They throw enough regular verbs in there to make it so that you realize that these are exceptions to a rule, hence them being called irregular verbs, but they also keep enough irregular verbs in there so that you can consistently see that they are irregular verbs. Some verbs change from an e to an i, like the verb nehmen, which becomes nimst in the du form and nimmt in the er sie es form. 
Some verbs change from an A to an A umlaut, such as anfangen, which becomes fängst an and fängt an for the du and rzs forms, and sometimes they change from an E to an IE, such as the verb lesen, ich lese, du liest, er sie es liest. You also get a view of the extremely rare ones like wissen, where it says ich weiß, du weißt, er sie es weiß. Then you also have to be careful with the forms of sein because that verb is completely irregular and doesn't even follow anything to do with the form sein all by itself as the infinitive. If you want to know more about irregular verbs, you can click this blog link over here or the one down in the description. Otherwise, that's all I've got for today. Danke fürs Zuschauen and bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. Don't forget that I also mentioned in the video about Gavinna that he takes the E at the end of the verb off a lot in order to make the verb vowel sounds a little bit.